everybody. Today is the day we leave to go to Cardiff to see Ollie Mers. I am so excited. Excuse my face. I've got a slip there and there. So fun times. I am just going to make my Nutri Ninja smoothie. And I, I literally have smoothies like every other morning and they're like, they're so good because they're no sins, no calories and they actually fill me up which is good. It comes with this, it's like £40 now and then well on. It comes with this, this um, this is the blender. Nutri Ninja, Nutri Ninja, 900 watts. Plug it in, whizz her up and then you're good to go. Some fruit I've got, some mango, all this from Sainsbury's. Some melon, you can get these for like one pound for these little pots and I just think that's really good because I don't need a huge big pot. And it's like two pound for these two raspberries. That's dry comes with these two beakers, the big one and the small one. I'm going to use the big one because I've got a banana. So we chuck it all on here and then we tip it upside down onto the blender and then it winds up in there. Then we just get my little blade thing, this spins around, it's not sharp, and to chop up all the, all the goodness. It is all mixed up, it looks a bit like vomit but it doesn't taste like it. And it comes with these little cat things, the sippy thing just comes off and I'll stay back there and drink it up. Lovely. So it's half ten and we're just waiting for it to be picked up to go to Cardiff. Can't come with us. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> This is my header. Hello. So we just went to this really big Asda in Bristol and they had the best like beauty section ever. I got this beautiful little glitter eyeliner which I've been waiting to get for ages. Can I add? And I had a nice fry up. And now we're off again. And it's going to take another like two, three hours. Shut up. Three, three hours? Joking, joking. About an hour and a half. Okay, an hour and a half. I have time to watch my movie. Cheers. We are in Cardiff. How's it going? Kyle just said, Jazz, have you got your passport? I'm scared Only me. joking. <laughs> I'm really scared me. I don't know. I have ID. Magic 
at that. We're on a walk to Travel Lodge, aren't we? Yeah, boy. Here we are. It's a very small, small of Travel Lodge to remove it in, but you know, it will do one night. And our fabulous view. But the clouds are nice. Um, yeah, we just literally just dumped our stuff, we didn't unpack. But it looks nice. Clouds in there. We're just chilling because there's nothing to do until like uh, quarter to six and when we go to the concert and they go for a meal because the boys don't like Ollie. They're so stupid. So yeah, we're just chilling and Chloe is pulling cute faces. <laughs> He's not arrived yet, and near is the um, other guy. What's his name? I don't know. Don't know. But uh, we're here and we're excited. Yay! I'm here for the next 45 minutes getting you in the mood to party for Mr. Ollie Mo!
the silence Thinking, thinking about you so good you guys he's so bloody good he's just really entertaining and he's just the cheekiest chap ever and his voice is you know incredible we'll see he didn't win x factor came second but you know where's the winner you know we don't even hear of him anymore i forget who it was yeah he was absolutely amazing i definitely recommend going to see him if you can um he sweat a lot but yeah it was really good and he was like really kinky quite kinky for a for him i don't know but yeah i just got home and i'm out watching me chelsea and i'm gonna go to bed soon because it's like 10 to midnight and i want to go shopping tomorrow so for now i'm signing off and i'll just see you tomorrow good morning guys it's quite a nice day in cardiff it's a bit cloudy but i woke up to sunshine so i was happy we just been down to have breakfast which was really nice um, I'm actually really tired because I woke up at 9 and I went to bed at like nearly 2. So the plan for the day is we've got to check out at 12 by, by 12 and the room's a bit of a mess. So I'm going to have to hurry up but I'm just going to do my makeup, do that, check out, take all the stuff back to the car, go shopping, which I'm excited for. And then we're going to see Beauty and the Beast which I'm so dying to see, it looks amazing. Um, yeah, and then we'll go home. So I shall try and vlog for a day, but I don't feel that comfortable like getting my camera out in the card of people looking at me. So I'll try and do it sneakily. I shall see you soon. Evening. We just got home and it's 5 to 11. I'm really tired, but I've had a actually really good day. <coughs> I didn't vlog very much because we were just like, on our feet all day. There wasn't very much to vlog, to be honest. We were just like leaving Cardiff, going like through to Exeter and all that. It wasn't really that exciting. But um, we got to do we, we did a bit of shopping. We yeah, we did a bit of shopping. I went to like boots and um new look that's pretty much the only places we got to go because we had to eat as well um and i had i looked around like this big boots for ages and i looked at nick's stuff for products ages and there's nothing i could really i mean nothing i liked well enough to buy um because i am actually trying not to buy as much makeup because it does eat your money like anything um but i did try the lingerie which you call the nick's lingerie eye cream thing like it was like a eyeshadow cream thing and I did try that on my hand let's watched it and it came out like such a beautiful highlight it was it was sort of like a shimmery highlight even though it was like brown but it was just really sparkly and lovely so I might get one of those but on that I didn't see anything worth buying to be honest um and I tried some stuff in a new on new look oh, it's hard to tell what size I am now because between 14 and 12, I wish I was a size 13 to be honest, but yeah, I, I did nothing like fit me properly, but I did get a new wallet because mine is centuries old and the zip is broken, so I'm going to fill this up, up in a minute, I think it's quite nice, 
bumpy. We stopped off at Pizza Hut and that was really nice, really nice greasy pizza. And then we come home, by, come home to my town and then we went to see Beauty and the Beast which was so good. It was really, really good film. I loved every minute of it. Um, you guys should definitely go see it. Only one thing I didn't like, it was just a spoiler, they didn't use the Ariana Grande song for the dance scene. And I was just like, what? Ariana Grande and John Legend were like, that song is so beautiful. And I didn't even see it in the credits. And I was like, where is it? I have to li listen to it by myself and just enjoy it on my own then. But whatever, that's fine. And our movie was very rudely interrupted by this woman. Basically, we all got, we all got in late because we'd just come back from Cardiff. And my Josh's family had bought the tickets for us. And they were like, oh, there's tickets, tickets are on the shelf. Um, just uh, pay for them and then come in. So, and the start, movie had already started without, without us, which, you know, isn't a big deal. We only missed, like, a little bit of it. We missed, like, it was right... I don't know, we missed, like, barely three seconds of it. We got to the front, and then it was a seat for Josh, me, and Chloe. And Kyle was uh, next to this blonde woman. which And Kyle's seat her, had her stuff on it, her bag and coat. And I was just like... And I sat down and I was thinking, oh god, is she going to be right with this? And I was thinking, no, of course she'll be fine, it's just, you know, just moved it back. And Kyle said, oh sorry, do you mind if I sit there? And she was, and she moved it, sighed, and went, oh for fuck's sakes. It's like, love, you bought two tickets, one for you and your daughter, you didn't buy a spare ticket for your bag. Who do you think you are? It really bugged me, and it, and it bugged me even more because, this is what she said earlier, later on. It got to the like near the end of the film, like just before the fight scene, <coughs> and um, through the whole of the movie, there was like these two girls at the very front, like uh, talking a lot and moving, and I didn't really take notice because I was literally eyes glued to film. I was enjoying it so much. I loved every minute of it. Like I said, um, and I wasn't really concentrating on anything else. So I was just taking all in, and apparently. Kyle and I, my friends noticed they were talking and everything. I noticed them as well. I just ignored it. I was just too happy watching the film. But then, um, and, this one, and then they got up. One of the girls got up to go to the toilet. And it was so awkward. Because obviously the cinema is set silent anyway. And this woman, the girl next to Kyle, who had trouble moving her bag, she said, <laughs> that she got out to say. No, yeah, because it's quite funny. Oh, what did she say exactly? Oh, for God's sakes, if my daughter can stay still, so can you girls. And I was just like, I was like, is she joking? And then this poor girl that stood up, she felt so bad. She, she, she's, I could just tell by her body language, she, she felt so uncomfortable. She was like, I'm just going to the toilet. And she was like, okay, we'll just hurry up and do it quietly. And I was like, what is going on? I felt so bad for these girls, like, just getting told off by some random woman in the theatre. You'd feel so bad. You'd be like... Uh, yeah, fair enough, they shouldn't be talking, but she didn't have the right to tell them off. She's not their mum. Well, it didn't seem like it anyway. <laughs> but then she went to the toilet, came back, and obviously it shut them up. But still, it was so awkward. You could cut the tension with a knife. N knife. It was horrible. So, yeah, that, I didn't like that. She, com she completely ruined it for me, to be honest. Because cause I kept bending down to pick up my Harry boat. And I thought, oh, and after that I thought, oh, God, she's probably annoyed at me for doing that. Because it's rattly. But, you know, when, it was, when I was rattling it, I knew I was making noise. But I was just like, you know what? I don't care. People are eating, like, popcorn and everything. I can eat what I want. I don't, it doesn't matter if I rattle. Luckily, she, she said nothing to me. But, yeah. And it didn't seem like she was from my town. She didn't, she didn't seem very cool. She seemed like she was from London or something. It's like, well, if you don't live here, you don't really have the right to complain. <laughs> And I've just realised what a spider I look like. <laughs> um, this spot has been a pain in the bum the whole time I've been away. I popped it today and it was just, it's just still really painful. And I can't stop fiddling with it. Um, and I literally, it's the longest I've gone without wearing lip, lip, lipstick. And you know, you're in a city, you want to wear lipstick and like look nice. But you can't wear it because the zit is horrible. On a happy note, I have mail. I have three packages. I think I know what they are. I don't know what this is. Tan Beauty. I think 
I remember what this is. And this from Amazon, which should probably be. I don't know, let's open it. I always forget what I order. And I forget where I order it from. Oh, my lipstick brush. Yay, from Real Techniques. Woo. Pink and pretty. It's got, it's got a little cap on it. Retractable lipstick brush. That's really cute. I can't wait to use that. Because I was going to melt down all my lipsticks and put them into a palette. And apply it with that. This is a camera charger. For my camera. But it's very long. That's like really long. The one I got originally was never that long. But it looks like it'll fit. Well, I'm not complaining. Just more length. Heart makeup, chocolate. Chocolate Vice Eye Heart Makeup Wonder Chocolate Vice Palette. Uh, basically, dark chocolate um, makeup uh, eyeshadow palette. Makeup Obsession Eyeshadow in the shade Rich. Makeup Obsession Lip um, Stick in the shade Champagne, which I can use this for. Makeup Revolution Champagne Brushes and Holder. I cannot wait to use them. They look so cool. Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Ice Kiss, which everybody's been raving about. I cannot wait to try that. Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Duo Stick in the shade Fair, which I'm excited to try. Okay, four piece brush set with holder. That is so cool. Served as Nails got this, and I thought that is amazing. I have to get it. And those brushes are to die for. I'll open it up in a minute. So, this is the Revolution Ultra Contour Stick, which has got some sort of thing on it. Comes up like this, and obviously it comes up to there when you spin it. Makeup Revolution, my favourite brand so far. Oh, holographic. I love your holographic. That looks really nice, like a nice nude. And this one looks a bit like a highlight, actually. But I can't see it very well. Yeah, I'll try them in a minute. I love Makeup Revolution. They gave me a free lip liner. They are so generous. It's cool. And, oh, it's from the um, lip kits thing. It's in the shade Echelon. And I've got the shade... Noble, thank God. So now I've got these two. Oh, they're very similar. This one's a bit more red. Skin kiss, and they've pretty much like copied the um, Urban Decay packaging. I love it. That's gonna be so cute. And a new um, eyeshadow palette. Now I was looking on Tamdu and I thought I haven't had a new eyeshadow palette in absolute ages. I want to get one, so I did. And they are pink. So die for here we go. It comes with this like little unicorn horn or something. Just spiral. It looks like a horn. The spiral. Holder, which is great storage. I love that. Oh my god, they're so soft. Even the hand, the handles are soft. Oh my lord, that is divine. How soft these things are. So this is the powder brush. Doesn't that exactly confirm it? But yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, that's so nice. This is, I'm pretty much pretty sure this is a contour brush. Got a lot. Love it. And two eyeshadow brushes. So let's think. This will be for. Well, this is probably the blending one, but this is a bit big for my eyelid. No, I, c I can use it. This is the contour stick. And it's got the concealer there. Oh, gosh, don't break it. And the contour here, there we go, very nice. I'm vlogging. Carry on. Oh, that's nice. So let's swatch the Eklon lip liner. Why do all the lipsticks I use break? Look at that. How does this happen to me? Let's just place it back on. No, I'll sharpen it. Okay, that's all the swatching I'm doing. But yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. 
I, with those lip kits, I actually tried them out. I did make a video, but I didn't think it was that good. Um, I tried them out, and I really didn't like them because they were just so sticky. Like, yeah, they were matte, but they just... I, cu I couldn't go for, like, an hour. I left it for, like, half an hour, and my lips were still going like this. I was still sticking it together, and it really bugged me. So I kept the eyeliner. The eyeliner. The lip liner. Oh, my gosh. But... I, I'm gonna throw it, uh, they're in my um, storage. I'm gonna throw them away because I've already used them now. I'm just gonna throw them away eventually. And I did get this, I got the shade Noble and Grande. And obviously, I got Gra I got Grande because it sounds like Ariana. Um, uh, it was like a really nice, bright baby doll pink, and it was just so beautiful. But it just I couldn't pull it off, it was too bright, it was too pale for me. Yay, sharpened. So, this is the shade Champagne. Popping that pink champagne. Swatch it. Okay, that's a bit balmy. Balmy. But that's glossy. I need a mirror there. So That's very balmy. Like that's not as pigmented as I would hope, but I'm gonna try it with my new lip brush. As soon as I buy it, I I'll use it. I don't think this is gonna work to be honest. Really good lighting. Yeah, it's really not that pigmented. That's really disappointing. Well, for it is a nude, but if I had got a red, red one, I'd feel like it was a lip gloss. Like, you can tell it's glossy, but you can barely see the pigment. So that's irritating. That's pretty. Oh, that's very really nice. That one there. Oh, <sighs> that's a big pan like that. Okay, that is big. I like that. No, not had a uh, big highlight before, and I haven't got a Jeffree Star highlight because they are expensive, and I just don't think. Like, oh god, uh, Sarah doesn't know how to talk about them. She said she doesn't think they're worth the price, to be honest. And it's supposed to be a dupe for it. So, whoa, that packaging is to die for. And that huge mirror, guys, five pounds for this. That is insane. They've really gone to town the packaging. I don't even want to swatch this. I think that is so beautiful. Great, I'll do the middle. Okay, that's a little bit less. I mean, you know, it's not up there, but it's good enough. That's good pigment. A bit more. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I can barely see it there. So let's try to on my wrist. Can you see this? Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. So yeah, I've saved us now to this watch side by side, Jeffrey and this. And they look pretty much the same. So I'm so excited to try that tomorrow. I love the design of these. This is my first um chocolate one. And I did want to get the pink one, but they're out of stock. So I just got this one just to try it because they've got pink in it. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> That's a very nice palette. Loads of spark. Oh that gold. These sparkles are insane, man. Is that a highlight? Is that a highlight? That is a highlight and a half. Ooh. It's like a setting um, powder, that one also. God, they are so nice. They're not, they're, those pinks aren't as vibrant as they make out. Like, they look very pink. In here, they just look quite subtle. That gold.
Oh, there's Zip to die for. See, even close up, you can see that that lipstick is not very good. No. So that's my vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really had a really good time. And Ollie was, you know, to die for. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. That'd be great. And I shall see you next time. Bye. They're saying that Wales is a country and I say a county. Comment your, your opinion. It, it is a country, but I just count it as a county. I know they have their own language and everything, but they still have like pounds instead of euros. Not that I know anything. We just had some dinner. That's very stupid. We just had some lunch in this huge Asda at, Bar at Barstable, at Bristol. Where the fuck's Barstable? Way. Oh, see, they've got a really nice big cup. <laughs> they got a really, really big um. <laughs> big schlong. Um, <laughs> That's not exactly what I was thinking. Um, what do you call it? Shopping schlong. centre here. Where I got my, where I got my iPad. My iPad's two years old now. Retail part. Right, I'm trying to talk to the people on YouTube. There's like three of them that like me, <laughs> including Chloe <laughs> and Kyle <I> don't, <laughs> and me. I like it and disappear. I don't. So that's my vlog. Mm -hmm. I want food. Come back to the market.com. Come back to the market.com.